Hello. Welcome back to episode two of lesson one. Here we're going to cover setting up your flight mission in DJI Pilot 2. I'm going to cover three main ways to set up a mapping mission in DJI Pilot 2, and you should choose the one that works best for your workflow. None of these methods require you to have the drone connected, so you can leave that in the case for now. First up, setting up the mission on the controller directly in Pilot 2. Start the controller and Pilot 2 should open automatically. From the main screen, click on the Flight Route button. Then click the plus button and select Create a Route. Now select Area Route to start creating a mapping mission. You can search for the address of the location you want to find by selecting the spyglass icon at the top right. You can also just move the map with your finger and pinch to zoom into the area of interest. Once you've found the area you're interested in, tap on the screen to place markers around the perimeter of the area you want to map. If you put a marker in the wrong place, you can easily just touch and hold it and drag it to where it needs to be, or delete it using the trash can icon on the left. When you're done, click on the blue check mark on the last marker you created. You'll be asked which drone and payload you're using, so enter those details and then click OK. The mission will be created and now you can make the changes necessary in the panel on the right hand side. For some reason it often creates routes with an altitude over 600 feet, so you are almost certainly going to have to adjust that. You can adjust by changing the altitude directly, or if you are after a specific ground sample distance, or GSD, you can adjust that and the altitude will automatically adjust to match. Now check altitude. Match this with the terrain and obstacle considerations from the minimum safe altitude you determined earlier using Google Earth. If you scroll down to the advanced section, you'll see options for overlaps, photo mode and custom camera angles. For the most part, you can leave these as they are unless you have some specific need for change. In the final video, which is troubleshooting and best practices, we will go over these in more detail. Now scroll to the top, give the mission a name, and then when you're sure you've got everything set up correctly, hit the little save icon in the top left. Pro tip, if you're editing maps and set the altitude lower, the Pilot 2 app will lower the flight speed to avoid motion blur. If you accidentally lower the altitude too much and then increase it, the flight speed will not increase. This caused me once to run a whole mission at about 3 mile per hour when it could have been at 15 mile per hour. And that's it. You now have a mission that's ready to run when you get on site. Now let's talk about a more advanced way to set up the mapping mission using a PC instead. Often clients will provide you with a KML file for the area in question. If they do, this is great because it reduces the chances of you accidentally capturing too much or too little. Pro tip is to extend the boundaries of any KML files a client provides you to ensure you capture everything. I've seen situations where the client didn't quite go far enough to the edge and it was missed. If the client didn't provide a KML file for you, then you can create your own using Google Earth Pro. So the way you do that is you open Google Earth Pro and you zoom into the area that you're interested in. And then up at the top here, you click on the polygon tool. And when you do that, you're gonna get a box. So you can give that a name. And now if you hover, you'll see that you get a little cross icon. And so what we can do now is just click wherever we want the corners or the points to be. And I'm gonna do it around this little bit of a farm here. Now what you can do is if something is in the wrong place, you can just click on it and drag it and move it so you can adjust if you're slightly off. And then when you're happy with it, you click OK. Now you can right click on this item in the left hand panel and you say save place as and select KML. KML is preferable to KMZ. You can change the name here or you can just keep the name that you've got. And now you've got a KML file. Now that you have a KML file, copy that onto a micro SD card and insert it into your controller. 
Open Pilot 2 and as before, select Flight Route and then click on the plus. This time, however, you will select the Import KMZ KML option. Navigate to the SD card and find the file that you put there. Select it by clicking on the check mark and confirm. You will probably be asked to confirm access to the disk a couple of times, so just click through those. Select Area Route as before and the mission will automatically be created for you and you will be taken to the library screen where you can select missions. However, you're not done yet because it will have created the mission with some settings that are probably not what you want. So now you have to select the newly created flight route, click the drop down next to the name and click on the pencil icon to go into edit mode. By default, things will be set up for an M300 with a P1 camera. If that's what you have, great. If not, click on that to choose a new drone and camera. And now you can also adjust the GSD, altitude, speed, etc. as we did before, and then save the mission. The final option for planning is to use DJI's Flight Hub 2. Like Google Earth, this allows you to set up everything on a PC, but you can synchronize this data with the controller, so there's no need to copy files onto the SD card. To properly cover that, I would need to go into a lot of details about Flight Hub 2, which fortunately I have already covered in previous videos. Since we already have two methods of setting things up, I'm going to just link to those in the video description. However, I will tell you that Flight Hub 2 is the way I set up most mapping jobs. So that's it for mission setup. If everything went well, you now have a mission on your controller ready to run. The next step is to set up your RTK connection to a cause network, and we will cover that in the next video.